Once you've lost your joy, how do you recover it? Today, through scripture, we're going to discover God's secret to get our joy back. I've tried it. It works. Early in our marriage, my wife and I had some serious arguments. And I have to confess, they were usually caused by me. In fact, I think they all were. One went on for days. As I rehearsed the problems in front of us again and again, I grew weaker and weaker. It was so hopeless. Joy was nowhere to be found. And we both began to just mope around our home, avoiding each other when possible. The simple pleasures of life were lost to us. Satan had stolen our joy. In truth, we helped him a lot. Finally, we broke out of our pain. We apologized and forgave each other. Sadness, pain, anger, feelings of rejection and hurt, anxiety and fear. All these negative emotions steal our strength, our energy. They steal our life. The Bible tells us in God's presence is fullness of joy. Psalm 1611. We're created to be creatures of joy. We're wired for joy. Holy Spirit creates supernatural joy in us. The God kind of joy, Galatians 5.22. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. New Living Translation. Think about how joy affects you. Think of the most recent, outrageously fun time you had with family or friends. Laughter, stories, jokes, fun activities. Remember the joy you felt just enjoying being with them. Now, remember how energized and refreshed you felt after that time. You may have been tired, but your soul was alive with joy. You were living. Joy is medicine, a tonic for the soul. Proverbs 17.22, and this is the expanded uh, translation of the Bible. A happy heart is like good medicine, brings healing. But a broken spirit drains your strength, dries up bone. We live in a world filled with stress, conflict, trials, and problems that wear us out and drag us down. Supernatural joy is the answer to much of the mental and physical pain that we experience from living in a fallen world. Human joy is fleeting at best, elusive in the worst times. Human joy comes and goes based on circumstances, what's happening around us and to us and to those we care about. The fruit the Holy Spirit produces in us isn't fickle, fleeting, even elusive. This joy is Holy Spirit taking the fullness of joy from Father's endless supply and releasing it into your life. No human being has this joy, only those who receive it from God. This joy laughs at circumstances. It lifts you above whatever life has thrown at you. What is God's secret to restoring your joy? This is today's activation. Many things God has for us are made available by faith. We must reach out and take hold of what he has for us. Christian activations are specific steps you can take to activate your faith and receive specific things from God. Today, follow these practical steps to activate your faith to receive joy. Our key scripture is 1 Thessalonians 5, 16-18. The NIV says, Rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. The secret here is to give thanks, to pray about our problems, and to rejoice in the circumstance. That's how we get joy back. Give thanks. Giving thanks renews our thoughts. Giving thanks takes our minds off of our problems and pain and focuses our thoughts on all the good things in our lives. All the good that God is doing and all the good that he has done because he loves us. Pray. You and I are not wired or equipped to carry the heavy problems, fears, stress, anger, or all the negative emotions that exist in this world. Dark thoughts hurt us. We know that's true. So what can we do? We pray. 1 Peter 5, 7. Give all your worries and cares to God, for he cares about you. We invite God into our problems and pain. We turn our problems and pain over to him. He cares about us. He'll help us through whatever we face. And peace will come to your mind and heart. This is a promise of Philippians 4, 6 to 8. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Now it's time to rejoice. You've given thanks. 
You've cast your cares on God, and he has replaced worry and pain with peace. Now rejoice. Renew your joy. That's what rejoice means. Tell God specific things that you have joy in, that you rejoice in. Again, 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18. Rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. The simple truth is that joy is a choice. (laughs) Ouch. (laughs) Sometimes I don't want to hear that. (laughs) We think, but I have a right to be upset. Or maybe you're thinking, of course I'm worried. I should be. Those lies are from hell. They will take you to dark places. Get off those trains of thought. Renew your mind by giving thanks and praying through problems and rejoicing. This is how God restores joy to us no matter what our circumstances. I pray that your joy will be restored today. If you enjoyed this podcast, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for listening. And thank you for doing the activation to let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Until next time, God bless.